Hey everybody, happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. We were able to relax and do something fun. I took my first yoga class on my computer using a Zoom app. It was really, really cool. I also went outside because the weather was so nice. Hopefully you guys were able to do that too. Um, let's get going for today. It is Monday, it is April 6th. We're gonna continue working on astronomy today. Our agenda is outlined on the screen. You can see that we're gonna be reviewing the journal that you guys worked on last week. And I'm gonna do a quick preview and walk you through some of the steps to the gizmo that you're going to be working on today. The work for you to complete is gonna be located on your class kick on page nine. If you forgot or you're not sure what your login is for Gizmo, please email me and I will shoot you that information back so that way you guys can get started on the like online experiment today. All right, so the journal from last week. Uh, question one says that the seasons are caused by the tilt of Earth's rotational axis with respect to its plane of orbit, meaning the tilt. What are the effects of this tilt? Choose all that are correct. That usually means that there is more than one answer. If you notice in the corner, it's worth three points. So there are most likely going to be three answers for that. So the first correct answer out of your options would be this. The sun's rays hit Earth more directly during season spring and summer in the Northern Hemisphere. The second one is going to be that the sun's path through the sky is highest in the summer solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. And the last correct answer is that when it is spring in Chicago, it is fall in Australia. That would be because of the location of the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere of Earth. All right, so this was the image that I got a couple of emails about, and I think you guys took it a little bit too literal, but that's okay. I'm gonna go through and hopefully problem solve uh, and kind of clarify some things. So if you were to look at this illustration, you see that yes, it does show the Northern Hemisphere and it does show uh, North America and it is facing the screen, but you have to remember that Earth is continually rotating. So the main focus was actually looking at the fact that Earth in, in the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, okay? Because it is tilted towards the sun, the correct answer would be that it is summer. This day of Earth's revolution is called the summer solstice. Then knowing that if we were to look at the next image, you're gonna see that the Northern Hemisphere axis is tilted away. So that would mean, that it would be winter. This day of Earth's revolution is called the winter solstice. So it wasn't exactly this specific location of uh, Schomburg in the world, but the actual tilt of the Northern Hemisphere. Hopefully that clarifies things for you guys. All right, so for today, you're going to be doing a gizmo. Uh, this is kind of an overall checklist to-do list, but I'm going to very quickly walk you through what it looks like. When you go into your class kick, you're gonna notice that as you go through and read all of the setup directions, you're going to be completing this data table today. It's gonna to reference different points of angles, temperatures, strength of rays, and then what those days could be. You also need to complete a summary. So let's dive into what the gizmo looks like. All right, heat absorption. Remember, you can email me if you're not quite sure what your login is, your password. I have no problem sending it to you so that you can continue to work. All right, when you get your heat absorption, you're gonna see that there's a light. We need to grab the green brick and we're going to drag and drop it onto the screen. That green brick is gonna represent Earth. From there, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this flashlight and you are going to increase the light angle to be 60 degrees. Okay, that's what it says right on your um, class kick page. You're going to then push play for the time. You are gonna notice that the temperature is going to increase. It'll automatically stop and tell you that the starting or the end temperature actually is 31.6 degrees Celsius when the angle is 60 degrees. So then you'll take that information and you will plug it right into your class kick that you see right here, okay? I would probably um, do the angles first, do the temperature column first, and then you'll be able to fill in the extra days. If you go back to the gizmo, you do need to hit reset every time. I'm gonna then change the angle, grab that flashlight. I'm gonna change it to be 40 degrees, and then I'm gonna push play again. Let the time automatically run. Pay attention to the temperature probe. Notice that the temperature now um, has ended as 28.6 degrees Celsius. You're gonna take that information, and again, plug it into a text box on here. You're gonna repeat that through for the 20 degree angle as well. From there, you're going to identify if that ray is strong, medium, or weak compared to your other data points. And the last thing is to try to figure out which special day that that might compare to, whether it's the summer or winter solstice, or if it's a fall or spring equinox, take your best guess. I'd love to give you guys feedback on your work. 
And then you need to write a quick, 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 quick one sentence summary using words from the word bank. Okay, so that's going to wrap up today's activity for Gizmo. Uh, again, email me with any questions that you have. The last thing we're going to go to and talk about today is the quote of the day. Um, it says, the future of the world is in my classroom today. That includes all of you. Uh, our classroom setup is different because of our V-learning, but I know that you guys are working every day and you have things going on in other classrooms and other subjects. And you really, I know you guys hear a lot, you're the future, you're going to make all these changes, and I really believe it. The way you guys are able to problem solve and persevere and stay focused during this time, I think is very impressive. I couldn't imagine having to balance all of that. So I'm just always blown away by you guys. You are the future, um, and it doesn't matter if you're not in a physical classroom. Um, that's kind of in your mind, and I just want you guys to know that anytime you learn anything new, to really embrace it and hold on to it and to build onto that experience and that knowledge and to know that you're building a better tomorrow for yourself and the people around you. So very proud of you guys. Again, email me with any questions, comments, or concerns that you have. Know that I'm always here for you and I hope you've got a great Monday and a great start to a short four-day week this week. Bye guys.